Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Today we're just going to get started in Upper Seattle. I don't really know how much I'll do. There's too much inside these big hubs to capture it all inside one video. I'll probably divide it into three sections or so. But we're starting in the Upper Seattle City Center. The MedBot can heal even the most serious injuries. It is programmed to attend to the wounds of anyone in its vicinity. Well, that's sure handy. Alright. Let's roll out of here and talk to these guards. Organizations, factions, and competing goals. Throughout the game, various groups will give you objectives and goals. These goals may be at odds with each other. You are free to choose your own course of action. There is no wrong path through the world. Your goals are stored within your data vault. Press N to access the data vault. There are only a few real moments of choice throughout the game. Sir, that's close enough. Do not approach the checkpoint. What's going on? Why am I the one being questioned? I just escaped from a raid on Tarsus. Let the WTO handle this disturbance. Just answer my questions. Who do you work for? All non-enclave workers must leave the area until security can be restored. That's one of them. Are you sure? Positive. Okay, you can pass, but you're instructed to report immediately <laughs> to Chief Morgan at the Excuse WTO me. air terminal. Is something wrong? Just move along so we can seal off the area. You'll be safe in the WTO Enclave. Whatever you do, don't go down the Inclinator into Lower Seattle. The Order terrorists are strong there. Alright. New goal. We've already seen the primary goal, report to church. For the Order, report to the Order Church in Lower Seattle. You can get to Lower Seattle via the Inclinator at the northwest corner of the Upper Seattle Enclave. Primary goal, report to WTO. WTO, report to Security Chief Donna Morgan at the WTO Air Terminal, according to orders relayed by WTO guards just outside Tarsus. Follow the signs in Upper Seattle to reach the terminal. That's all fairly straightforward. Let's talk to these guys. Why me? Are you sure you've got the right person? I just spot faces. They didn't tell me what you did. I'm sure Chief Morgan knows what she's doing. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Tell it to the Chief. Yeah, tell it to the Chief. The train station's around the bend. Just follow the upper sidewalk. We've got work to do. Don't be a nuisance. People are dying in there. Let me do my job. Move it. Don't be a nuisance. I said, tell it to the chief. Move along. Chief Morgan doesn't like to be kept waiting. Chief Morgan doesn't like to be kept waiting. All right, there we go. You've gotten past the checkpoint. Good. Now forget everything those troopers just said. I trust the WTO about as much as I now trust Tarsus. If you need further proof of the program's duplicity, you should stop by Nassif's apartment. I got the address when I broke into her office. Apartment 2224, Emerald Suites. I'm transmitting a map of the complex to you now. All right. New secondary goal. Dr. Nassif, search apartment. Investigate Dr. Nassif's apartment, 2224 Emerald Suites. <clears throat> That's all pretty straightforward. The Aero security bot's got nothing to say. Get out of Upper Seattle while you can. The WTO could decide to arrest you at any moment. You can reach the lower districts via the Inclinator at the northwest corner of the Enclave. Alright, so this way to the Inclinator. This way is a coffee shop. Over there is the upstairs metro station and nightclub. Let's head toward the coffee shop first. I know I hear someone walking around. They must be upstairs. Citizens, we have been accused of over engineering our economy. Well, this is the legacy we inherited from J.C. Denton. J.C. Denton, the solitary criminal mind that precipitated the Great Collapse and showed us just how fragile the old system was. But how, you ask? Just a rumor, you say? No, my investigators have uncovered proof underground at Area 51 that he was not working for the United Nations, and in fact that there never was a global terror network. He acted alone. Even the recent Chicago disaster fails in comparison to his crimes. Trust the WTO's cautious policies. They 
project civilization from madness itself. You might recognize the name Chad Dumier. He was the leader of Silhouette in Deus Ex 1. He was the fellow we found in the bunker whose hot f people we rescued from the MJ-12 commandos. Why he has turned into a wannabe dictator who suppresses the truth, I don't understand. They try to explain why later in the game, but it seems to me like a total inversion of his character, and it, it kind of bothers me. I mean, I guess ideal idealists get corrupted by power in reality, but it just seems like a complete about-face for his character, and I really don't like it. Especially because J.C. Denton was his friend. City Map, Upper Seattle. For all your travels, Map Sync shows you the way. Each map is crafted by an Order member with accuracy and love in the hope that it will help you on your search for inner peace. Please enjoy this map of Upper, of upper Seattle. May Her Holiness watch over you. Every day I hear more rumors in the media. Order fanatics want to destroy the Order system. Terrorists are planning attacks in the night. The Order and WTO are locked in an endless, invisible war. Not so, citizens. The Holiness and I are meeting this week in Trier, Germany, to negotiate better relations. We do not condemn religion, nor do they condemn free enterprise. We will find common ground. Have faith in me. Alright, let's look at the image we just got. Well, here's the map of the Emerald Suites we got from Billy, which I should have looked at earlier. Uh, elevator to city center, so this is where we'll come in. Lobby, maintenance access to penthouse, elevator to penthouse suite. Apartment number 2224, apartment number 2225, apartment number 2226, and roof access. And here's the Seattle Lub Hub lower level. Uh, elevator from Tarsus Academy is where we came in. So we head out here, basically what it showed us. Entrance to Inclinator, stairs to upper level, Pequod's coffee shop, and we're in this area right here. Let's see if Dumier has any thing else to say before we talk to the... Why the necessity for an enclave, I am often asked. Why a barrier between Upper and Lower Seattle? Citizens, growth must be managed and contained, or we are the playthings of market forces. Jumia economics provide a bulwark against these struggles, these unpredictable numbers. A bulwark against another collapse. I have on my desk here in Geneva a petition. A petition from the citizens of Upper Seattle for more real estate, a bigger enclave, a larger population. I assure you that my staff is carefully considering the next step for your community. You are correct that symmetry at nanoformer processes make high-rise construction trivial, but there are other concerns, such as stabilizing the value of the property you already own. Let me take a moment to praise the Seattle delegates who attended our conference on establishing a world congress. Every day brings us closer to transitioning from city-states to nationhood. Soon, citizens, we will live in the first worldwide democracy. I guess what really bothers me about Dumier is, in his efforts to establish a one-world government in this game, he has transitioned into fighting for the exact thing he was fighting against in the first one. Doesn't make any sense to me. Oh well. Seattle and the WTO. An exciting past and a glorious future. Be proud, Seattle. You are an example to the world. Citizens, we have been accused of okay. engineering. Now he's repeating himself. I don't think I know you. This is a bad time to be harassing strangers. We just had a terrorist attack, you know. I bet it's a coordinated attack. They got the inclinator in some sort of job training program. Why they allow too much inclinator traffic in lower Seattle. That's how these things happen. A shower, a new suit of clothes, and you can't tell the terrorists from the people who live here. That's what, come to think of it, you don't look like an enclave type at all. See, you're starting to make me nervous, man. 
Leave me alone. I don't think I know you. All right, he's done too. Next, let's check out the public terminal. The new face of hate. They call themselves the Knights Templar uh. and claim to be descended from Hugh de Pen and the Temple of Solomon. They say that their war against the augmented and genetically engineered humans is a war against infidels. If the human body is a sacred book, then no organization has burnt more scripture than the Templars. Stop the hate. Report all Templar activity before it's too late for your community. Cash reward for information leading to the identification of Templar high priests. You care about the people who lost everything during the collapse. That's why you refuse to support companies like Queequeg's Coffee, which cut costs by exploiting poor bean growers. You support the new economy epitomized by Pequod's regulated, health-inspected coffee plantations, which have brought jobs and fair pay to tens of thousands. Pequod's. Coffee for your kind of world. In the wake of the unprecedented terrorist attack on Chicago, Enclave area residents are taking a harder look at those groups who oppose WTO yeah. expansion. Suspicion naturally gravitates toward the non-denominational faith known as the Order. But who are the Order? Today, the Church's leader has hidden behind a cloak of secrecy, appearing to her followers only as Her Holiness. Furthermore, fundamentalists such as Luman Saman champion a much stricter interpretation of Order doctrine. A toxic spill shut down the inclinator system early this morning. <laughs> it is not yet clear whether the substances being transported were mislabeled, prohibited, or simply mishandled by the Inclinator crew. The system will remain offline until the hazardous materials can be contained. The new face of hate. Alright, that's it for that. Couple of people in here to talk to. My business plan didn't have a column for acts of terror. Kinda of messes with the Pequicino price point. That bad? I charge almost double compared to Queequeg's coffee in Lower Seattle. Why? Terrorism, taxes, rent. Rent, I hear you. The WTO shouldn't ration construction permits. You're telling me. I know a guy who works at Symmetria. He says nanoformers could rebuild all of Seattle in about five years. It's a shame. To hell with an economic shock. People want the new cities and they want them now. Okay. Just checking up on my investment. I'm betting the coffee's going to be big once the nanotech boom gets rolling again. It's those R&D guys pulling late nights that bring in the numbers. Once the WTO works through its security problems, I think we'll have a world-class business center here. All an investor needs is a little faith. It's those R&D guys pulling All right. the that bring in the numbers. Let's talk to the manager now. I guess business is a little slow because of the terrorist attack down the block. Could be. Live here was just telling me about it. Tarsus Academy, right? Usually the order goes after the Inclinator. Business is always about the same, since you asked. That's what I was saying. You can barely make a profit up here because of the high rent. Yeah, I wouldn't have to pull so much volume if I had a branch in Lower Seattle. What's it to you? Just curious. The Pequons in my hometown was always packed. Personally, I think it's about time Laura Seattle, Queequeg's Coffee in particular, got their own taste of terror. I hear you. Have something specific in mind? Not that I'd want to see anyone get hurt, but I'd pay to see someone break in and set fire to their inventory of coffee beans. <laughs> nice. That's arson. Very perceptive. You look like one of those Tarsus kids are hanging around here. They do the job, maybe just lob a grenade in there or something. Interested in a little adventure? I'd have to think about it. The Queequeg's manager lives in apartment 21 of the Heron's Loft building. I bet you could find the code to the shop there. Careful, though. He's always loafing around at home since he doesn't have to do the 24-hour shtick like us. New goal. Coffee Wars. Destroy beans. It's a secondary. Pequods. Destroy Queequeg's coffee bean supply at the shop in Lower Seattle for a reward. The Pequods manager suggested looking for the door code in apartment 21 of the Heron's Loft building. If you're half the operative Leo is, you'll go for it. I'll be right here. It's not just the big boys who need to hire mercenaries, you know. It's ridiculous that anyone still buys low-tech Quiquachinos when they could have bio-enhanced drinks like ours. 
Queequeg's got an early lead in the poor neighborhoods, but they won't be able to compete for long. I'll be right here. Okay. <clears throat> now over here, there's an ammo clip. Oh, but my ammo is full. Once the WTO works through its security problems, I think we'll have a world class. So let's head down into the other room inside the coffee shop. Underneath the table, you'll notice a multi tool. Here's a book. We've read it already. Upper and lower Seattle, two hearts beat as one. Over here, coffee science. 137 trimethylxanthine is the major pharmacologically active ingredient in coffee. Also known as caffeine, it is quickly absorbed into the blood and body tissues following consumption. Its property as an adenosine antagonist enhances its action on the central nervous system as a stimulant. I love caffeine. Booyah. Over here we got another book. Our love affair with the bean, the legend. One day, Caldi found his goats gathered curiously around a dark green leafed shrub with bright red berries. After trying them himself, he discovered their powerful stimulating effect. Monks at a local monastery soon began relying on the berries' effects to stay awake during extended hours of prayer. And so, coffee was born. All right. I do like moving silently. Next, I'm going to head over here to the inclinator. Towards it, anyway. Uh-oh. Hey, you. Come here. What for? You live here? It's my first time topside. What's a good place to go shopping? Easy, Red. Mr. P said to lay low. You deaf? I said I want to get me a fly leather outfit like the one you're wearing. Come on, man. Back off. Well, every time we do a job, you got to skits and get us all fired. P said stand here. I'm standing here, and now I want to go shopping. Only thing is I can't afford the Phoebesville markup. That's where you come in. No problem. Just let me run to the ATM first. Do I look stupid? Just let it go, Red. Pick a fight up here. You're on your own, man. I got us this job, and I plan to collect. All right. You get one chance. But next time you're making a donation, I want to get my sick mama a present. All right. So you can get out of the fight one time by saying you're going to run to the ATM. I'll be waiting. He doesn't have anything else to say. You talk to Red. He's the friendly one. I didn't bust into the enclave to meet people. I bet you think this is a big joke. Get moving, Phoebe. Hey, Red, what are we going to do about this guy? What's the matter, scared? Real funny, Red. I thought this place was supposed to be a fortress. Chill out, we're just passing through. Talk to Red, he's the friendly one. Go away, man. Don't blame me if you get caught in the crossfire. Can't take a hint, huh? We'll be out of here in no time. I do like his Texas ball cap. Go away, man. All right, let's deal with these guys. Hey, you're in the way. Uh, some kind of poison. Uh, some kind of poison. Neutralized. Uh, oh, the bot. Many weapons use electromagnetic pulse, EMP, which is used to disable bots and other electronic devices. <clears throat> anyway, these guys will either demand money or attack us when we come back through. I'll be waiting. Uh, Alright, is everybody just unconscious? That's what I'm hoping for. Yes, very good. Let's move their bodies. Multi-tool required to get in there. Ammo is still full. Let's chow down. All right. Oh, this is where we can get thing we what we can excuse me we can get into this dumpster and there's more food inside along with more ammo clips if we need them I don't but I will happily 
finish filling up my health with the food. Next. Let's see if I want to burn a multi tool to get in here. Looks like ammo, a bolt caster, which I already have, and some kind of weapon mod. Glass Destabilizer. Weapon Mods. You've just acquired a weapon mod. Weapon mods are used to upgrade and customize your ranged weapons. Each weapon can accept two mods. Press I to go to the inventory screen. To select the weapon you wish to modify, left-click on it, then left-click the Install button to go to the Weapon Mod subscreen. To install a weapon mod, left-click on it, then left-click the Install button. Well, that's all very basic, but the Glass Destabilizer is actually an awesome mod, and we want it, so... <coughs> Allows us to silently break glass, which is a good thing. I already have a bolt caster, and I'm already full of ammo. So, let's go ahead and head over to the Inclinator. Back here, we find a beer and a bottle of wine. Vice, that's what it's called. Bottle of wine, a cheap wine, drink at your own risk. And the beer also calls that vice. Beer. When you follow your instincts, Lone Wolf Beer puts hair on your chest and other places too. Warning, may be harmful to your health. No need for any of that either. Let's make sure there's no flavor text I haven't read. I think all those guys just had pistols. Ah, uh, wait. An EMP grenade. Now that is handy. Okay. I'm gonna head into the Inclinator now. That'll be a map change the Inclinator facility. The collapse shattered the global powers. It would be two decades before those with visions of a new world order would again vie for dominance. Now when it ultimately comes down to it, I usually end up siding with the WTO over the order, but I only do, I only explicitly pick sides when I have to. At this point, we can complete both goals, and that's what I intend to do. As often as possible. When everyone wakes up and joins the WTO, a bonus! You expect me to walk into a chemical spill for a few extra credits? What about you? Are you kidding? Without a hazmat suit? Every minute the Inclinator is offline, we're all losing money. Think about that. You weren't on the platform when that stuff spilled. I don't even want to guess what it does to a person long term. Okay. Let's talk to everybody. If that nanopharma was up, we'd be fine. Someone's got to fix the nanopharma or release that repair bot. Too bad Mathers is trapped on the other platform. He's got the code for the closet where the repair bot's stored. I started feeling sick the moment that stuff spilled. The fumes hit me pretty bad. Probably sounds paranoid, but I hope I can still have children. It's in my system. No telling what it'll do to me. I took this job because it was supposed to be safe and predictable. Maybe I was better off working for SSC. Someone's got to fix the nanoformer or release that repair bot. If that nanoformer was... I hope Mathers is okay. We need his help to activate the repair bot. But if he comes through that cloud, it might kill him. Of course, he just changed the code. And we've got no way to reach him. Seems like the radiation is scrambling communications. If only we could release the repair bot, or get to the controls for the hazard flush system. Too bad no one has the equipment to make it over there. I hope Mathers is okay. We need his help to activate the repair bot. I'm sorry, the Inclinator is closed until we get this toxic spill cleaned up. Don't you have any hazmat workers or bots to take care of it? One nanoformer bot, but it's been so long since we've had an emergency that it's fallen apart. I can't believe someone tried to slip toxic waste past us. Can it be fixed? The only guy with the code for the repair bot's closet is trapped on another platform. We've also got a hazard flush system, and we've got the code for that one, 4781. But the remote access is damaged. I'm trying to get one of these fools to go up to the balcony overlooking the bay to hit the master control, but they're afraid of crossing through the spill. We're not letting ourselves get threatened into risking our lives. You can't fire us for having some common sense. I never said I'd fire you. 
I just said that we're losing money over this, and I may have to let someone go afterwards. Right. Anyway, I'm hoping to find someone with more guts than these guys to do some quick contract work for a decent number of credits. If you manage to take care of it, report back to me so I can pay you. Until then, no one's going to be able to get down to Lower Seattle. Alright. Goal received. Primary goal, Inclinator, clean up spill. Clean up toxic spill in Inclinator so that travel to Lower Seattle can resume and collect a reward. Find the trapped worker to get the code to the repair box closet, or use the control terminal on the upper level to activate the hazard flush system. I can't risk putting the Inclinator back online until we're sure the area is decontaminated. Log in Inclinator hazard flush control stored in Data Vault. Oh good. I've got to find someone to take on this job. We're stuck until that nanoformer gets repaired. When I find out who authorized this transport in the first place... Everything about a job in Inclinator Maintenance? It's a growing field. When I find out who authorized this transport in the first place... Alright, now she's repeating herself too, so we're done talking to everybody. I could have sworn there were some goodies somewhere in this room. Aha! Yes. There's a multi-tool. Yes, there we go. EMP prox mine. That's the other thing I was looking for. Okay. Let's head over here and talk to this guard. The inclinator shut down and this area is closed off due to a toxic spill. I talked to the facility director and got the details on the mess. I want to take a look at the extent of the damage. I might take the cleanup contract. I don't care if the director hired you. She doesn't have the authority to send anyone into this mess. The WTO is handling the situation now. We've got bots patrolling, which I can't reprogram at this stage. There's no way we can guarantee anyone's safety under these conditions. So I'm barred from entry? I won't stop you, but I can't ensure you'll be safe from the toxic materials or the bots. If I was you, I wouldn't come within 50 yards of those bots unless I was armed to the teeth with EMP weapons. I tried to take out a bot with a shotgun one time. Fat chance. Between the radiation and the bots, the risk isn't worth it. The bots will see you as an enemy threat. Keep that in mind. After this mess, this station's gonna get a full review from the WTO. They don't even know what it is that got spilled yet. Between the radiation and the bots, the risk isn't worth it. Alright, so let's move this wooden pallet out of the way. If I can get it around homes. Well, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. We can take the vent shaft. Why not? Let's take it out. Well, that was no good. The pop star NG Resonance has hollow kiosks all over the world where her fans can talk to AI constructs resembling her. That was no good. Let's try again. Much better. I went for contact to detonation that time. Alright. <clears throat> Bots are down. Let's see what we got in here.
right, there's the chemical spill. Let's not mess with that door just yet. Can of soda. Oh, that counts as food. What do you know? And what do we have down here? A multi-tool and an EMP grenade. Good. And down here we've got another concussion prox mine. Perfect. Over here we've got a med kit. Here we've got two more cans of soda. Perfect. All right. Now well, let's head into here. There's another baton on top of the crate. We head this direction. We find the facility director's office. Ammo still full. All right, let's head into the office now. Pack of cigarettes. Also vice. Noir, what's your secret? Watch your worries vanish in a puff. Tasty, reasonably priced, and maybe harmful to your health. All right, well, let's not waste inventory space on cigarettes. We've got 100 credits over here, and a multi-tool. Both are handy. <clears throat> now let's head into this vent shaft. Move forward onto the climbable vent shaft circuit, the surface, and move in the direction you want to travel. Easy enough. So we head up here, out another one, and we are above the chemical spill. Let's be careful while we're up here. There's no real need to stay crouched since I have fully upgraded move silent already. There's another multi-tool here. Obviously I'm gonna want to carry that with me. There's another vent shaft. We just need to get onto this balcony to clean up the spill. <clears throat> but my man Alex didn't feel like jumping. That happens sometimes, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Alright, Alex, jump! There you go. Alright, here's the computer. Activate hazard flush system. And exit. Now we can use a multi-tool to get in here. Good work. The area will be safe for travel shortly. Now that the area is safe for travel, you may want to report the news to the Inclinator Director. Goal received. Inclinator collect reward. Tell the Inclinator Director that the area is now safe for travel and collect a 100 credit reward. Yahoo! Let's see if what's in here is worth it. A gas grenade most certainly is. Concussion grenades. I like them. What can I get? What can I afford to get rid of, though? That's the question. Binoculars. Binoculars are useless. Let's grab those. Alright. 
Gas Grenade releases a non-lethal gaseous biotoxin that chokes and temporarily blinds organic units, detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. Concussion Grenade creates a small explosion, detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. Now here is something else. Inventory is full. I'm not interested in the Phosphorus Flare, but let's get the uh, flavor text on it. Phosphorus Flare. A phosphorescent flare burns too hot to be carried once lit, but can be tossed into dark places for illumination. Useless. Especially when we have our light biomod. Let's head over here now. Go down the ladder. Although actually, let's let's bounce back up there right quick, just because I saw a couple of vent shafts out here on the beams. And I do feel com I do feel compelled to make sure there's nothing in here. Spider bot. Okay. Yeah, no reason for that. We can leave the spider bots be. <clears throat> the spider bot, rather. Since there's nothing in those vent shafts to go after. Alright, the hazard has been flushed, so down here, there's a data cube. Hazard flush login. I'm getting sick of you guys offloading all your work on me because you supposedly can't remember any of the access codes. I'm putting the login for the hazard flush system in this data cube so you can't blame your poor memories anymore. Mathers. Nanoformer bot. A multi-tool is required. The repair bot refilled my energy through the window. That was pretty cool. So, let me see what all we've got going on. That takes me back out there. I'm not quite ready to go just yet. There's the actual inclinator. I don't want to go down there yet either. Let's explore down these stairs. There's a the guy. It's safe to leave this platform now. The spill's been cleaned up. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to deal with it. I hope the director is paying you a fair wage, but in case she isn't, you might want to check out the repair bot storage closet if you haven't already. The code is 13490. Grab whatever you need. You earned it. Key code, Inclinator Repair Bot Kennel, stored in Data Vault. Glad someone finally took care of it. I hope this means the director starts taking those cargo checks a bit more seriously. Guess a little bit of excitement never hurt anyone. This job doesn't pay all that good, but you see all kinds of people. You see so many faces, you get to where you can read people's minds. I bet I know who engineered the spill, just from the look he gave me. A whole gang snuck into Upper Seattle today, and I'm not talking about Seekers. You'll see. Something big's coming down the pike. The spill is just the first stage. Glad someone finally took care of it. Alright. I have no need to carry the crowbar, but we haven't seen one yet, so let's get the uh, flavor text on it real quick. Crowbar. A standard heavy-duty crowbar. Well, okay. Now that he's done, let's go back up here and head into the repair bot closet. The bot is using repair bots. You are near a repair bot. When a repair bot is nearby, it is programmed to automatically replenish the bioelectric energy that powers your biomods. Well, that is handy. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Just the bot itself. Now, I think it is still going to roll out here and repair the nanobot, or nanoformer bot. Oh, maybe it's not. 
Oh yeah, there he goes. Alert. Nano former bot present. There's gotta be something in here. Oh, an ammo clip. Wah freaking who? Alright, let's get out of here. Let me make sure I haven't missed anything. Like there was something else down there. Maybe I, maybe I already found it all. All right. All right. Let's talk to the director for our reward. The guard, WTO guard, is gone. I've taken care of the problem. The area is no longer hazardous. Fantastic. Here's a few credits for your trouble. Goal complete. Credits increased by a hundred. Thanks again for taking care of that mess. Now that the situation is under control, we're going to need to tighten regulations so this never happens again. When I find out who authorized this transport in the first place... Okay, she's done. Thanks for taking the job. I don't know what the director was going to do next. You saved our necks. Now she can't fire us or force us to go in there. It's a good thing you came along when you did. You saved our necks. Now she can't fire us or thanks for braving that mess. I'm glad I didn't have to take care of it. I guess we better start inspecting the cargo a bit more closely. I started feeling sick the moment that stuff spilled. All right. Let's head out of here. I'm not ready to go down to Lower Seattle just yet. Security turrets are normally dormant, but can be activated by alarms. And see, at this point, we would have had to either pay or fight these guys now, anyway. So, the next thing I think I'll tackle is the metro station. Let's head up the stairs. Turn right here and head into the metro. that says Nuke Cola, I think these guys are Fallout fans. This game came out five years before Fallout 3, so don't forget that. Alert. Cleaner bot present. I wonder if there's going to be any reason for us to use that vent shaft. NG Resonance. Alright, let's see what we got here. Keep moving. Thug. Talk to Metro Man over there. You gonna jump me or what? You have to be pretty quick to script fly ball Freddy. Serious, back off. Don't blink, muchacho. Hey! Whoa! You can access a security computer if you have a valid login or the neural interface biomod. Well, sorry about that. I thought that I could talk those guys to death. Oh my gosh, really? It's been this long since I saved. Is there no autosave? No, there is not. Well, that's devastating. Oh well, I already know where everything is at least. And we already heard all the conversations, so I should be able to whip through them. Still, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Gotta hit that quick save button. It's safe to leave this place. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't. 
I'm glad someone finally took care of it. Oh look! Extra food. I guess that's I a good thing. I hope this means the director starts taking those cargo checks a bit more seriously. Up and over, up and over. Oh yeah, let's visit the repair bot. Should never have dropped out of the SSC. I've taken care of the problem. All right, back out here. Energy cells store the bioelectric energy that powers the nanotechnology and biomods. Use them to replenish your power when you run low. I guess I didn't lose that much ground. It's just, except for if I wanted to. If I had any need to talk to everybody again, that would have taken forever. Alright, so I can talk to this one up until uh, Sirius back off, but and I guess that doesn't matter either. Let's see what's past him. Water fountain. Gold beams will kill us. Multi-tool to get in there. Let's talk to this one. Keep moving. Talk to Met. Throw man over there. Watch your doorstep. You gonna choke me or what? You're gonna have to be pretty quick to script fly ball Freddy. We'll go ahead and talk to him five times. Serious, back off. Okay, now we're done. So let's talk to this one. New fare. Five times the old one. Five times? That's quite an increase. Uh huh. Don't WTO policies discourage price fluctuations? Huh? You know, the zoning rules, licensing procedures, the constant monitoring of markets. A fivefold price hike is pretty unusual. Uh, well, I'm not too political. You trying to make a quick buck or something? No, man. Lay off that script. I'm just selling passes. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh huh. Should be obvious what's going on here, but... Let's open up the vent. Hop in. Can do another quick save. You can see one patrolling back here. Let's keep it nice and quiet. Uh, do something! Can't drop his corpse in here. Well, it's not a corpse, he's unconscious. That was nice and quiet. Spider bomb! Now, we haven't seen one of those yet. I'm not gonna change anything I'm carrying for it, but let's get the flavor text on it. Spider bomb. Self assembles into a spider bot allied to the user. Will attack the nearest enemy, delivering EMP and electrical damage. Detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. Let's get my gas grenade back. Save again. Now let's get the guy in the booth. got a shotgun and some beers in here. We haven't seen a shotgun yet, so as usual, let's get the flavor text. Shotgun. Weapon fires an anti-personnel blast in a wide pattern ideal for fighting tight groups of multiple opponents. Alternate firing mode launches smoke grenade. Well, that's neat. But I have no space for it. Let's grab the gas grenade. That button disables the security beams. 
Got an ammo clip in here. Tacoma, Newark, Leander, NYC, Austin, Reno, and Dallas. Very interesting. All right. Let's head over here. Ah, uh, yes, there's the guy. There's the real attendant. Unfortunately, he's dead. There's nothing we could have done to save him either. We got an ammo clip. Med kits. You have just acquired a med kit. Use med kits often to keep your health high. This will help you survive combat and keep you prepared for unexpected conflicts. Press I to go to the inventory screen. Use the med kit by double clicking on it. Energy cell, food. Over here. Got an unlocked locker, which is good. Soft key, metro ticket station, ammo clip, and a stun prod. Well, we've already got the stun prod. Let's hack this bad boy. Off. Alrighty. Let's get... Let's get the one other guy. Of course he's hostile now, but... I don't know why I'm bothering to stay crouched. I have full-on run silent. And speed is awesome. Alright, he's just got a pistol. Nothing else. Inspecting services. But, now that's all cleared up. Let's head to the WTO air terminal. Another map change. Seattle is home to world-class facilities like the Mako Ballistics Weapons Lab and the Tarsus Academy's Intermediate Training Center. All right, WTO Air Terminal. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, Alex D. Nice work in the inclinator there. The WTO appreciates your work to keep the commerce routes open. And Chief Morgan has had a lot to say about you. I haven't had the chance to talk to her yet. Then be sure you talk to Chief Morgan as soon as you can. She's in Europe right now, but she'll address you from the holocom in her office. Go up the stairs, hang right, and look for the management wing on your left. The WTO could really use an agent like you, and we could offer you a kind of mobility no one else can. What do you mean? As you know, after the collapse, it was the WTO that started putting the pieces together, creating safe, clean, profitable enclaves, and opening up and regulating trade between them. With this web of structures in place globally, we can offer an agent many opportunities in many locations. The WTO does some admirable work, but couldn't it lead to the same kind of over-centralization that made the world so vulnerable to the collapse in the first place? Far from it. We're encouraging relations between the enclaves, not complete mergers. We want to keep competition dynamic and individuality vibrant. They're all good intentions. You could be a part of it. Your fellow student from Tarsus, Clara Sparks, has already accepted a position here. Think about it. We're trying to create a new piece where everyone has access to goods that they need and has a mutual interest in keeping commerce flowing. We want to give people more choices and more opportunities to live better lives. Surely you want to aid us with such an endeavor. We can bring the world out of the post-collapse dark age. You can't pass up this chance to help your fellow citizens. You can't pass up this chance to help your fellow citizens. All right. Heading onward. I told you, we can't trust Tarsus or the WTO. You really should come to our church and hear what the Order has to say. Her Holiness will open your eyes. May she watch over you. Attention. All Let's talk to the people in here. I cannot believe these delays today. Seattle should have their WTO charter revoked for how poorly they're handling this. There's more food on the table. That's good. One unidentified helicopter brings everything to a screeching halt. Are you kidding? Just shoot it down and move on. Sure, you expect this sort of thing in Cleveland, but not in Seattle. I've got deadlines. Welcome I'm not going to Seattle miss my connection WTO because of this. They had better get this sorted out soon. I cannot believe these delays today. All right, he's repeating himself now. Let's talk to this other guy. WTO flights are usually on schedule, but not today. I think they've grounded the flights until they can figure out what's going on with that copter that was circling. Attention. All outbound 
flights have been delayed. At least they got the helicopter on the ground with no problems. I've had enough of Seattle for a while, especially with all the commotion today. Trouble in the inclinator, but I heard they got that straightened out. I hope I don't miss my connection. I've had enough of Seattle for a while, especially all right. with all the commotion today. Let's talk to the coffee shop attendant or server. What a strange day. All this commotion Vehicle at the terminal. Ramp is for loading and unloading only. I towed in some helicopter not too long ago. Rumor is that the craft was circling the city and not responding to WTO queries. All that, and then no real conflict in getting the pilot to land. They've got to impound the vehicle now until they get to the bottom of this. They must be interrogating Attention. the pilot. All flights have been delayed. Please see the flight Maybe the flyby was just a prank? I don't know, but the WTO doesn't really have a sense of humor about these sorts of things. I hope none of my deliveries are delayed. Never a dull moment around here. It's a good gig, working in a bar in one of the enclaves. No complaints here. What a day. It's a good gig, All right. working in a bar in one of the enclaves. Let's see, there's no nothing on the coffee here. bar. Let's head into here. Talk to three more people, looks like. We've got a snack machine, a soda machine, and an ATM. I can hack them all, but if people see me, the guards will open fire, so I have to be careful. Another thrill-packed afternoon, huh? Every time I look at a public terminal, we're one step closer to all-out war. WTO Incorporation seemed like a good idea 15 years ago. Attention. All at first, the WTO meant planes, Maybe always on schedule, more choices when you went shopping, more jobs. Maybe the WTO's just getting too big. System's not working as well as it used to. The WTO promised peace through trade, of course. I should have known when the first thing the nanoformers put up was a wall. Now you've got groups like The Order who are making more trouble every day because of the WTO, especially their more extreme members. Meanwhile, people on the outside go hungry. The vehicle ramp is for loading Most people around here think that if you don't get accepted to an enclave, you must be lazy. I'm not so sure about that. Anyway. Thanks for helping me pass the time. Another thrill-packed afternoon, huh? Thinks she's repeating herself now. Every time I look yes, at the public she terminal, is. I heard there was trouble at Tarsus today. Rumor has it the order was involved in some kind of raid. I remember when I first heard about them, the order seemed all right. Just a bunch of warm and fuzzy spiritual types. Seems like the order's been getting more intense lately. I've heard that there are groups within the church that want to take even more drastic action. Lucky they didn't go after the air terminal. I'm supposed to pick someone up. I guess I should think of something else to talk about. You hear about almost nothing else these days except one group attacking another. The terrorists are all competing for air time. Okay, I'll shut up. I'm sure you have your own worries. Nice talking with you. WTO Incorporation. Nice talking with you. Okay, let's talk to the guard now. What a day. Welcome to the Seattle WTO. WTO is getting nervous after all that's going on in Seattle. First, the trouble here with that helicopter, and then I heard there was trouble at the inclinate. All this commotion is probably just some non-enclave types trying to make some extra credits by smuggling. I don't know that I blame them. It's rough in Lower Seattle. Looks like I'm going to be working overtime. Welcome to the First, Seattle the trouble WTO. here with that helicopter. All right. I heard there was trouble at the inclinate. Let's try and hack things. What I don't know is whether or not I can use something like this as cover. It sure would be awesome if I could, but I doubt it's going to be that simple. I doubt it has the uh, the feature from Human Revolution. Don't hurt me! 
Yes, people don't like it if they see you hacking. 20 years ago, J.C. Denton shut down the Akinus router, which paralyzed global communication and returned civilization to a simpler, decentralized existence. Okay. I remember that. Alright, line of sight. Let's see if this works. Get five pieces of food for hacking one of the machines. Looks like I got away with that one. Perfect. All right, let's try hacking the soda machine. That was fun. get it to stand up right again. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Her Holiness is the Order's global leader, but the organization is comprised of local entities called Shards, each headed by a Luminon. Oh, man. The WTO provides technology to post-collapse city-states that agree to submit to a certain level of surveillance and live under WTO laws. All right, let's see if this works. Perfect. Beautiful. Last but not least, let's get the ATM in the corner. EMP weapons can reduce your bioelectric energy supply if you are within the blast radius when you use them. Hacking gets much, much, much easier as soon as I upgrade my interface, but it's pretty slow for now. It only really matters, I think, if the guard spots me, so... A hundred fifty credits for hacking the ATM. What a day. There we go. All right. I didn't realize I could hack the food machines now. That's that's a good time. Let me make sure there's nothing else in there. I got really excited. I forgot to check around the chairs. Bam! Multi-tool. Alright. Now let's head out of here. Please refer to section 407.23. 
723 of your field manual. What? Hey, it's Clara. At least one trainee besides me reported to the authorities. Have you seen Leo? No, but I've heard from Billy. She seems to be mixed up with the Order Church. They can do what they want, I guess. I can't believe that Tarsus is a front after all those years of training. What's going on back there? A suspicious helicopter was circling the city. Fortunately, both the pilot and the aircraft are now in WTO custody. Order reconnaissance? The pilot will be interrogated. I shouldn't tell you more than that. So you're on the WTO payroll now, huh? I'm just glad I didn't have a reaction to whatever the Tarsus people were shooting into our veins, and now I've got a security assignment. That's all I ever wanted from that place. Well, I guess Claire is not interested in continuing our conversation. We'll see more of all the other trainees throughout the game, if that wasn't obvious. Let's talk to these two guards. Passengers and patrons should be prepared for delays. We're probably looking at Titan security, Sam. One too many strange events lately. I hope the Chief okays a search of Flight Bay 24. I just have a feeling about that shipment. Maybe I'm just jumpy after that copter refused to follow protocol or land. Passengers and patrons should be prepared for delays. Other guard? Welcome to the WTO air terminal. Something didn't add up quite right on last night's shipment. Yeah, it seemed like the paperwork was kind of odd on that one. They shuffled back to the Flight Bay 24 storage room so quickly. They said it was for someone who wanted his shipment and privacy protected. Ha! <laughs> I never trust those late night deliveries. George wasn't even around to sign for it. The more you talk about it, the more I think we should look into it. Someone's probably trying to get around WTO import regulations again. Be prepared for delays. The schedule's a bit backed up due to some unusual circumstances earlier that put a few flights on hold. There was some confusion over a shipment last night, too. Can't say much more than that. Good day. Be prepared for delays. All right, I think he's done now. Good day. So let's head into the management wing. Plenty going on in here, too. What about the situation in the inclinator? Under control. The maintenance crew got right on it. Please accept the sincere apologies of standard security. Our people should have screened out the terrorists at the lower Seattle entrance. I'm not blaming you personally. I'm the one who has to face the music, especially given the Chicago situation. I have to admit, there's been some talk here of replacing SSC security guards with WTO military. I expect there will be some fallout. Just wanted to let you know that we have the situation in hand. Okay. We'll talk to the civic manager now. I think he's coming in here anyway. What do you want? I'm busy. Sorry. If you're worried about the terrorist attack, don't be. WTO security did its job. The Order Church won't try something like that again. I'm sure you have everything under control. And don't make me file another complaint about corruption. I'm up to my ears in corruption. Smugglers, dodgy business owners. Meanwhile, half of Lower Seattle banging on the walls wanting citizenship in this zoo. I'm just here to talk to Chief Morgan. Her office is across from mine on the other side of the reception area. You the guy with covert ops training? You want to make my day? Bring me the balance sheet for that dive nightclub. Vox. Down at the end of the block. One of those dodgy business owners? Tax evasion, I'm pretty sure. That small-time cheat probably keeps his books in his office on the second floor. Bring me hard evidence against Vox, and I'll hand over a generous citizen's bonus. How's that? We've had three nightclubs on that spot in less than a year. Fronts. All of them. New goal. Secondary goal. Vox finances. Investigate. Find the balance sheet for Vox nightclub. It is rumored to be in an office on the second floor of the club. Report your findings to the civic manager for a reward. Come back and tell me what you find out. I've got work to do. Quit wasting my time. Quit wasting my time. All right. Let's raid his office now. Should be able to hack the computer without him seeing me. Oh, 
Ah, let's turn off the cameras. That's always handy. Anyway. Can't talk to anyone on the communicator. Need a multi-tool to get into the safe. Got two more pieces of food in the far right locker. Nothing in the second from right. Need multi-tools to get into both of these other two. Let me see what's in these. Two ammo clips. Some kind of weapon mod. But my bolt caster already has the two mods I'm going to put on it. So let's see what's in the safe. Now that is worthwhile. An EMP grenade. A scrambler grenade. I probably won't keep it, but let's read about it since that's a new item. Scrambler Grenade. Transmits an electronic signal that temporarily causes bots to attack their allies. Detonates after a brief duration or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. Alright, let's get my gas grenade back because I do want that. And a data cube. Your login info, 101769. You're up and running. Username, sblorn, password, exclamation mark, WTO Seattle. That's the default password. Please change. All right. Log in. Civic Manager's computer stored in Data Vault. We've had three nightclubs on that spot in less than a year. Fronts. All of them. All right. Let's go to Donna Morgan's office. See what she has to say. Chief Morgan, you wanted to see me? I want to hear what you know about the terrorist attack that led to your escape from Tarsus Academy. The Order wanted to stop the experiment. That's about all I know. We were watching that facility ourselves. Ever heard of an organization codenamed Apostle Call? Sounds like a cult. Apostle Call made your biomods. I'm not blaming you, but the technology diverges wildly from Piezochem biomods, the only ones approved for sale. You're investigating this Apostle Core for patent infringement? Market disruption. The genius of the Apostle Core product is that it restructures any host DNA to tolerate biomodification, whereas the standard infusions work for only 1 in 20 patients. Apostle Core could go commercial and devastate biomod prices. In other words, you want modified people to hold their value like real estate. We simply want to avoid a price shock. So far, our most promising intel on your former employer points to a possible smuggling operation with Seattle's Minister of Culture, who lives in an Emerald Suites penthouse. Penthouse? Nice. You see where this is going. The Minister should be out this time of night, living it up at Club Fox. And you want me to break into the place? Show us what you can do, Alex. With Charles gone, maybe a position with WTO security would appeal to you. All right. New note. Chief Morgan suspects Culture Minister is involved in smuggling. New primary goal. Culture Minister, investigate. WTO, investigate the Culture Minister's penthouse at the Emerald Suites. Alright. She's got nothing else to say. Inventory is full. That shouldn't matter. What's different about this multi-tool? Well, I'm confused. That multi-tool won't stack, so... I guess I'll have to leave it behind. Where'd my other prox mine land? There it is. Alright, she's got two books. The Dentons, Myth and Mystery. Although many of his actions remain shrouded in mystery, we do know that J.C. Denton played a major role in resolving the Grey Death Plague. However, some suspect that he also initiated the collapse. He began as an agent for UNATCO, but realizing that it was corrupt, he joined his brother Paul in the NSF Revolutionary. Oh, we've already read this. Sorry. WTO Gun Laws. Marksmen and collectors should be aware of the WTO Enclave's gun laws. Carrying concealed weapons is permitted, however, some areas will require you to submit to weapons bytecode safety locking for the duration of your visit. These codes freeze all weapons until the unlock signal is sent upon exit. Alright. We're done in here. I've got work to do. So let's head back out. <clears throat> the 
The biomodified Omar share a group consciousness, but each member was once an ordinary human. My next stop is Club Vox, but... Well, a couple things. First, since I just now realized I can hack vending machines, I want to... Watch your step. Injuries may occur. I want to make sure I haven't skipped any by mistake. Doesn't look like I have. And once I check the areas I've already been to for vending machines and such, I am going to call it a video. Just because I have to be more careful, I can't just go, 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 go like I could in Deus Ex 1. Since the game has the annoying habit of halting my recordings. Ah yes, here we go. Alright, up to 25 bits of food. Pretty sure I can't get back into Tarsus. Nope. And we'll be back in the Inclinator later. And I just want to check outside it right quick. Okay. That, I think, is going to do it. This has been Episode 2 of Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Next time, I will take you to Club Vox, and we will continue in Upper Seattle. Let me update my save. That's it for now. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.